I love the cough culture in Dublin. It might not be as sexy as in Italy or France, but it surely has its flair and appeal. Maybe Dublin has more fame for its bars and pubs, which definitely shines high. But what really matters is that the pleasure of sitting outside for some coffee or a drink is universal. I'm very drawn to these coffee shops and bar scenes, or people hanging in these locations. There's something quite cinematic and poetic about these environments. They are the best place to meet, great environments for storytelling, perfect background for films, cool places for writing, and in my case, perfect for photographs. The recurrence of these environments on my street photography inspired me to create a video entirely dedicated to cafes and bars in Dublin, with pictures and behind the scenes of the shooting. Candid pictures of coffee shops and bars are almost as old as photography itself. Many famous names of photography have explored this subject. Sometimes in a very cinematic way, like stills from a film. Sometimes very romantic and glamorous. Other times very lonely and reflective. A table outside is the best spot for people watching. The act of having coffee or a drink outside can be very voyeuristic. Photography, and especially street photography, is very voyeuristic by nature. So it's a perfect combination of two voyeuristic activities. Sitters just want something that tastes great, and I want something that looks great. A good photograph takes very long time to make, many hours and several failures. 99% of the time is about failure. That's just the genre and the nature of street photography. I carefully try to be consistent with the aesthetics, composition, lighting, subjects, expressions, and the general feel of these images. I always hope that the images work as a series, with every image communicating to the next, creating a story and especially a feeling of a place. Hard light at the golden hour is my favorite light. A strong and harsh light on a very low angle on the sky creates a very beautiful and pleasant contrast. With the use of light and shadow, I can separate what I think is important from the unnecessary information on a frame. One of the secrets to create this kind of images is by finding the best spot and sticking around for a while. Observe the light and wait to the elements on the frame to align. Then there is a little bit of luck, but I learned that the more you shoot, the more luck you get. So here I find the scope shops and bar areas. The light is perfect and probably will remain for another 20 minutes or half an hour. I keep shooting until the light disappears. Once the light is gone from one location, I desperately look for another location by following the light. I feel relief when I find a new spot that shows potential. Then it's like shooting a scene for a film, but without having the same amount of control. You keep repeating the same picture over and over and over until you're satisfied with the picture you desire to make. All these photographs were made from different days of shooting. I put some of them together to see how they work as a group of images. I'm looking for similarities of feeling and aesthetics that make them a unit. When you put them together, it's important to recognize the ones that don't suit the series. When I have the best images selected, I like to give a break for a few days and come back with fresh eyes and then do another overall look at the whole project altogether. There's always change to be made, so I keep revisiting the series many times until it feels right. But honestly, the process of making images is way more enjoyable than finishing a project. So there's no rush and I just keep shooting. Please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.